guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm finally back from Korea after 10 days in Korea and 5 days in Tokyo. That was pretty amazing. I did a lot of stuff and stuff and all. Um, my vlog in Korea is coming very soon. Um, yeah, just please wait a bit more. I'm working on it and stuff. It's gonna be a bit different from usual vlogs. So I hope you, you'll look forward to it. But um, here today I'm for my the first part of my Korea haul because I bought a lot of things in Korea. Not gonna lie about that. Um, so yeah, basically I'm gonna just gonna sh because I tried to film this video twice already, and every time it ended up being so long. So I decided to cut it in two parts: my albums and my random merch. So I'm um, gonna show you all the albums I bought in Korea. Uh, albums in Korea are pretty cheap, honestly. They are around 12,000 won, to, well maybe 11,000 won and 20,000 won, which is around 10 and 20 dollars. So that's pretty cheap, honestly. I mean, if you're an international fan, you no know, shipping and stuff, it gets really expensive. So anyway, uh, I bought a lot of albums because um, I only had four groups albums. I had. EXO, GOT7, BTS and Seventeen, but I wanted to own more K groups albums, so let's uh, get right into it. One of the albums I bought is Monster X Shine Forever album. Uh, oh my god, I'm so sorry. I meant the beautiful album, brilliant version, it's from the beautiful, um, yeah, well, you know, the MV uh, beautiful, Adam Dawa. Um, I got shown you as a photo card, yeah. Uh, this album is so beautiful, packaging-wise and stuff, really, Starship did a good job on this, I mean, really, this album is just so, so beautiful. And by the way, I'll make, don't worry, I'll make full unboxing of all these albums and reviews, uh, as I said already in my previous video of showing you my albums. Uh, just, yeah, <laughs> need to film all this, but yeah, I'm gonna make full unboxing, so yeah. And next album is the Xoxo -Xo Repackage, so I guess it's the Growl album from EXO. Uh, I actually got Baekhyun for this album. Um, I, it's my one of my first OT12 albums. I just wanted to complete my EXO collection. Now I don't have many much more albums to buy from EXO. Just like debut album and then Lotto and stuff. So yeah, I'm happy I have a new EXO album. Sorry about my voice by the way. Pollution got me hard plus 35 degrees. Uh, switching between 35 degrees and air conditioning all the time in Korea. Uh, hurt a lot my throat, so my voice is a bit weird. Plus, I have a cold, so life is great. <laughs> so I hope you don't want mine. Anyway, next album is 24K Addiction. Um, I got hongs up for this. Did I? I think I did. Uh, I went to their concerts. I'm gonna make a video about my concert experience. Uh, I went to one of the concerts in, back in January, uh, and I really loved. Okay, honestly, they're so underrated. So the album was pretty cheap and I wanted to support the boys, uh, so yeah, that's about it for the story behind this album. Anyway, next album is newest Canvas album, um, yep, I'm very happy with this album to be honest because I'm, uh, I really, really, really love Newest. Uh, I, unfortunately, I got to re-know them after Produce 101, well, as they were on Produce 101, because I listened to Love Paint when it came out, but I didn't think much of it. Shame on me. Uh, so now uh, I decided to support them a lot. Aaron too, because not many people like know Aaron as he wasn't on Plus 101, but anyway he's so cute. So I'm gonna buy the next album from NCTW. Uh, so yeah, I'm really... NCT. I'm so tired. From newest W for newest wait as they wait for Minhyun. I'm so sorry, I'm really tired. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, so yeah, that was for my newest album. Oh my god. Anyway, next album is Red Velvet, the Red Summer album. Um, that's the, like for the latest comeback. It's my favorite album so far, and I love basically all the songs on the album. I mean, Red Flavor, the Red Flavor is amazing. Zoo, you never know. Yes, that's what I wanted to say. Anyway, um, uh, I think this album is so amazing and so beautiful, and the songs are really great. It's really my favorite album so far. And uh, I always liked a lot the red side of Red Velvet, but um, I hope next album is the Velvet side though. Anyway, um, <laughs> next album. I talk too much. I don't want to make this video too long uh, because I mean, otherwise you're gonna get bored. So anyway, uh, next album is Mamamoo uh, Purple album. Uh, really, honestly, 
This is their latest album and it is so good. These girls are so good. So Red Velvet Velvets, and Ma Red Velvet and Mamamoo are my two favorite girl group. I also love Girls Generation and FX, but Mamamoo and Red Velvet are my two faves, honestly. Um, I got actually, I saw Red uh, Mamamoo perform at um, SBS The Show. I'll talk about this um, in another video. But anyway, I got Hwasa as a photo card and I'm very happy with this album. Now, NCT, I was saying NCT instead of newest because I'm tired, but NCT 127, Cherry Bomb album, because uh, this album is dope. I got Win Win as a photo card, and um, I, I, I met a friend from from K-pop, Amino, uh, in, um, in Seoul, and uh, she actually bought five Cherry Bomb albums because she's trying to have a Mark photo card. She got, I think, three times a Head Chan, and one time like Johnny and one time another member but it was kind of funny though like because she bought another one she was like is that gonna be Mark? and no it was Johnny it was kind of funny <laughs> anyway uh, then I bought uh, EXO Overdose album and it's not my favorite packaging of an album but uh, I want I'm collectioning every EXO album so I want them all so here we are uh, so it's a pretty good album and uh, I got Soul as a photo card if I remember well yeah, I think I got Suho. It's like the second or third time I get Suho, so I'm very happy. Another EXO album I got was the Exodus album, um, Sehun version. I actually looked for Chen, but they didn't have Chen anymore. Like, a lot of members were missing. And then a lot, lot, no, a lot of people were trying to get other members, but they didn't manage because, well... So I got Sehun, but I got Bit Chen as a photo card, so I'm very happy. Uh, this album is really nice. I mean, it's my favorite EXO album. So, wait, kind of really love Co the War album, the Coco Bob. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, then we have the SM. Is it the right way? No, it wasn't. The SM uh, Station Season One album. Uh, I loved the Season One of SM Station. I I really like, that was the thing I was looking forward to it to listen. So I'm glad I bought it, though it is super heavy. Uh, and it's gonna be so long to download all the songs on my computer, but anyway, I'm very happy with this album. Now, next album that I was waiting a lot to buy was the Monster X Shine Forever album. Uh, I, but, I mean, I'm getting, I'm more and more Moon Baby. I'm not a Moon Baby yet because I don't know every member yet, but I really love Monster X so much. And I got Shonu too as a photo card. I'm getting Shonu all the time. And uh, But as a CD cover, I got One Hope. He, it's probably my bias, though I really like Kian and Juhan, I think that's right. Uh, yeah, but anyway, uh, this album is beautiful and the packaging. I think most sex albums are my favorite in terms of packaging, so yeah, that's uh, one thing. Then the Vix Shangri-La album, actually I don't think it's the actual title, I can't remember the title, but it's the one from their latest comeback and uh, this album is like, the songs are all amazing. And I got Ravi as a photo card, even though it's a bookmark, it's not really a photo card, but anyway, you understand the point. Now, my next album is uh, Taeyeon, my voice, the Luke edition, the Luke's edition. It's from the repackage. Um, there was four versions, uh, considering her latest comeback. And I used it a lot, but in the end I got this version and I'm very happy with it. Because Taeyeon is just so cute. And, uh, no, not cute, she's the queen. Honestly, uh, I really admire her lo a lot. So, oh, actually, I'm, I lied. I also have now a Taeyeon album. I said I only had Red Velvet and Mamamoo, but I also have Taeyeon. Gosh, I'm tired. <laughs> anyway, my la now on to my last album I bought is Nine Muses Identity album. <sighs> Nine Muses are so underrated. Actually, I don't even know their name yet, but uh, I love their comeback. I, mean, I was totally unexpected. I didn't. Uh, I mean, I knew that I check every group's comeback on Nine Muses. I was like, oh, I'm gonna check it out, and I fell in love. Honestly, it's so good. The Remember is such a good song, and the photo book is so beautiful. And I actually also got the first press photo cards, so it's four, or five photo cards of the members. Um, it's really nice. Yeah, four of the four members. Um, honestly, this album is so amazing. It was one of the first albums I bought when I arrived in Korea, actually. I bought this on Shine Forever. Yeah. So, anyway, uh, that was the 14 albums, I think. I can't, can't, didn't count them. Uh, I bought a lot of albums and a lot of merch in general, but uh, I just don't regret it because it's much cheaper in Korea. And uh, I also bought albums for my friends uh, because, yeah. 
And uh, I also bought one more album for the giveaway. I'm not telling you yet which album it is, but I hope you'll look forward to it. Uh, the giveaway video is coming very soon, probably on Sunday or Monday at the very la late, at the latest. I think because I mean I want to do this giveaway and I have a lot of merchandise, an album plus random merchandise. So I hope you'll look forward to it. So that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed and um, leave a like and tell me in the comments which is the album from all these albums you want to see an unboxing and a review the most. Um, I'll do this one first. I mean, I'm going to do all, but if you have a preference, tell me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, yeah, subscribe for more content. A lot of K-pop videos are coming. I'm going to make a video very soon about my SM Town concert experience. That was lit. And I also saw Red Velvet. They actually waved at me, so I need to tell you all about this. So yeah, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed and see ya in the next video. See ya!